So Nashville, yeah. um, you know, was it an exciting race? I tell you, it was an exciting restart. I was right well, behind you guys. Oh, you know, we yeah. three wide uh, yeah. early on in that race. Uh, and I was watching. I was like, look at these guys. They're such gentlemen leaving yeah. each other. Plenty of room. No one's, you know, everyone's just waiting on, well, the first guy to, to make, make a mistake. Yep. And then you're battling out too wide. But um, I, I had the same battle with Martin uh, for Gosh, yeah, gosh. yeah, five or six laps. We were side by side. I was watching that. And you guys were just driving away. I'm like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, were you single file? Yeah, I was third. I'm oh. just like, <laughs> car feels great. Guys. Uh, yeah. Watching on TV is like, those, wait, those guys are running side by side for two. For well, and they're driving away from the yeah. cars behind them. And I kept we kept yo-yoing and it's like, OK, well, how can I stop this yo-yo <laughs> effect? Because the, the, yep. the clearly he's in the lane that's a little bit preferred. But I, I just, you know, you can manipulate the guy beside your car so much, yeah. you know, and make him have to lift if he needs to. And finally, I was like, I'm going to go down the straightaway a little bit different here and then complete the pass off a of turn two, which it worked. But, um, yeah, it just seems like this car in general, you can really get stalled out that two by two for yeah. sure. But then when you get single file, it's like, boy, they better hit traffic. They better hit traffic <laughs> or they, you know, something's yeah. for sure. Yeah, that three wide battle was was fun. I mean, I I kind of uh I, I missed turn one. I I got in. I got tight. I didn't Where really were get you a, in this three wide battle. Uh, I was in the middle the okay. whole time. Yeah, but I I had the lead off pit road, which you know great pit stop. And then I um yeah I just got into one, kind of went straight. True X wrapped the bottom, and then uh, it was pretty much just a side draft game after that. But I. I don't know when you're in the middle of three, like you're trying to get a little bit of air off him. Then you're <laughs> yeah. like, wait, wait, he's going away. Now, now I yeah. got to get him. So it was, it was fun. But I mean, I, I didn't think I was, I don't know. I thought I had one shot into three that I got um, a run on Ross. I got a good side draft and I thought I'd get him, but didn't. So, yeah, it, it's just, those two were the class of the field when it, when he looked at practice too, it was like, yeah. it was, I thought it was pretty obvious that those were the two best cars. And um, yep. that's why I, I I left there thinking this is about all we had. Like we weren't, you know, a, a top five car in practice, but we made it better. But I just thought that they were just, I mean, milliseconds faster every single lap. Yeah. Um, so it was cool. You know, the track widened out quite a bit. I, you know, I loved NBC. I told, uh, I was giving Steve Latart about, um, man, you guys are really doing the sales job on, uh, you know, Hey, look how wild and crazy the Xfinity race. And the, you know, I was like, I says, yeah. I, I, I get it, you know, but we're going to be racing at night. We have shifting. We have less <laughs> fall off. There's a lot of factors that is a lot different. Yeah. And, and so, um, yeah, it's, it's tough because all the cup guys are so good. They're not going in there and cleaning out. Yeah. Or, you know, the there's guys not those like, mistakes. <laughs> there's just God, not you watch on Saturday. It's, I mean, there's a lot of exciting racing on Saturday <laughs> and like when the grip level's not there, just, just back it down. It's, like <laughs> it was unbelievable to see. I, I think I started, I went and, after practice, I went in my bus and I was going to go back to my hotel in Nashville. And I thought, well, I'll just watch the first 50 laps. And then, mm. you know, two hours later, it's like, you know, I still got 50 to go. And it's like, wow, man, this, this is, this, it was painful to watch on some yeah. of the re restarts for sure. But, yeah. um, it's just, you know, you got a mix of some experience with Justin Allgaier, who's been there for a long time. And you got a lot of young guys, Sammy Smith and mm -hmm. uh, Cole Custer's coming back. So it's just, there's a big mix of talent that's in that series. And it, and it honestly makes it compelling Yeah, mo most weeks. Um, yeah. Truck race as well. You, you know, you, I look forward to watching them. Uh, like you said, it's just those races, you, you almost don't know what's going to happen. And the cup race, like, I yeah. feel like it's a little more predictable for sure. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm, I think Xfinity, they just, yeah, you, you can hit it right. Like one guy can hit it right and figure something out. And all of a sudden he's, ca you know, catching the leader. So it's just, you don't have that as much in cup. Yeah. The, um, so I thought Nashville was a, a good race. Um, it certainly has some good restarts and whatnot. Uh, it, it is challenging. It, listen, it was challenging 20 years ago when we raced there in Xfinity cars, uh, for passing. It's actually much wider. Uh, that this this cup car lays you know rubber down and the yeah. car doesn't want to go over that rubber so we can continue to move around all the time which creates yep. that wide lane um, I, I didn't really feel the resin as much I, I don't know if they did it as much as they did in previous years but it, it didn't seem as grippy or it was already burned off before we we got there but yeah it, it's um 
it seems like we we definitely have work to do. I know they're going to work on that splitter, um, that mm-hmm. up down splitter uh, coming up at a test. Um, yeah, I'm doing that test. It, are you doing that test or no? no. I think I think C Bell's doing it yeah. for us. But you know, I I'm a more of a on Dale Jr. side where it's a it's a tire thing. It, yeah. you know, a shifting thing. I think that that, you know, if there's some way we could figure out how to get rid of the shifting, uh, we would have to run more top end RPM because we would be bogged down so bad if we had to run fifth gear all the way yeah. around the track. Um, but yeah, I think that that really plays a factor in the, in the, in the passing capability. Um, I mean, you can pass, but you're going to pass slap cars. You're going to pass someone when they really lose the balance Yeah, for the first, like, 20 25 laps right we're all just once you get single filed out it's like all right this is where i'm going to be for a while until you know you just hope to keep up with the the cars that are in front of you they start to their tires and their car degradate and then you make moves on them yeah with the old car it was like more so momentum on exit was where you made passes like you had like if you were just a, a few RPM better than the, the yeah. next guy, that's how you got it. It lasted run. all the way down the straightaway. Yeah. Right. I mean, that yeah. run that you generated, I mean, that's short track racing. And that's where yeah. I feel like I, I kind of honed skills that I had on, on the short tracks is that I ran late model stocks. We, we didn't have any power. Right. So it was all just how can you keep the center going as quick as you can to carry that speed all the way down the straightaway? Yeah. And that's what passing, uh, that's how you passed. And so these yeah. things, yeah, with it, with it, the way it is, it's like you're charging entries and then you're just, you know, you're moving your men's speed around the corner and then grabbing a gear, right? Yeah. And so it's so different than what it used to be, for sure. Yeah, I think it's tires, too, because it's, I mean, they, they get hot, but then you can get that pace back, you know, if you get them, if you get them cooled off. So it's, they're not wearing out yep. a lot. Yeah, it is. A lot of it is is definitely heat-based. Um, you know, the, the fall-off, I think we had, I don't know, after a green flag stop, I, I think I was... 3050s and would end 31 low 31 so it was yeah. just over half a second which i mean the whole field is so tight um on on speed that i mean you really need to be probably two tenths faster than someone to really go up there catch them make a pass on yeah. them um and it's just hard to do that for sure um unless th- you're ross Chastain. unless you're <sighs> ross um he did he ran me down on the super it was it was a really long run I was arrow blocking the shit out of Truex because I'm like, you know, if I let him, if I let him go, I'm, I'm not going to win. Like it, you know, caution could come anything. Yeah. Uh, guys battle each other now for track position, especially at a place like that more than ever, just because you know that every spot that you go back from first, your yeah. car is going to slow down just a few hundreds. And, and so, um, yeah, I, I tried to held, I held off Martin for the bulk of the run. And while trying to, you know, while trying to keep in front of him, slowed kind of both of us down. Ross mm-hmm. comes, and he was strong in the long run anyway. He ran us down past Martin pretty quickly, then past me pretty quickly and easily as well. Um, and then we uh, had that last stop, and, and he just uh, did a good job cycling through and keeping the lead, and that was pretty much it for us. What did you have? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I thought we were okay. We were uh, fifth. We were running around fifth uh, for most of the night, finished sixth. But, um, yeah, I think Ross was – what I noticed early, I mean, I had track position. I was actually pretty good when the sun was out. I was the top – I was like a third to fourth place car. And then um, Ross would always come on. Like, we'd get to maybe 20 laps to go in the stage, and he would start, you know, filling up my mirror. And it would just – it was just a matter of time. He could yeah. run – like, he could run up in one and two and, and carry a lot of speed and – um, I thought Reddick was really good too. Like he, we came off pit road side by side, and he lost the wheel. Um, but I, I think Ross just, yeah, long run just had. Um, but they had speed all weekend. I just was, I was kind of surprised. I thought Truex was the best, but it looked like he built free off. So it yeah. looked like he was struggling on exit um, more than more than Ross. Yeah, I, I thought that Reddick was strong as well. Just from what I saw in the first stage, I was, uh, you know, fourth or fifth, and. I, I know that he went and passed Ross uh, late in the first stage to win the stage. And so, um, yeah, the team's been hindered by pit road stuff for sure. We got to figure that out. It's it's just it's really kind of holding them back a little bit right now. Um, so, 
that that's frustrating for sure. Uh, certainly, uh, the caution benefited us <laughs> when it did come out. Oh, because yeah, uh, you you were the leader. <laughs> I was the lucky dog, <laughs> which was that's weird. right. I was the lucky dog, so I'm running. At that time, I would have been running second to Truex, but because Reddick and I were side by side for second, and he lost the wheel, and you were the leader, so I didn't get the lucky, or I got the lucky dog, but I got a free pit stop out of it, which was weird. And then I got to line up. I mean, it's never worked out. I've I, never had it work out that it's way. It's weird. Sometimes it cycles that way where, yeah. like, the guys that have to wave around, you end up, as a lucky dog, it's better to, I guess, well, if you wave around, the other gar- cars have pitted. So, yeah, it just yeah. worked out that way to where, <laughs> yeah, you got a free pit stop, stress-free. Yeah. You know you're going to come out fourth. Yeah. And and it's <laughs> like, yeah, all right. So, so yeah. when he told me, he's like, well, there's only three cars on the lead lap, uh, I'm like, Okay, that's good. Well, we're gonna have everyone wave around, but they got, you know, starting the back. They, they, yeah, they got they're behind us on their own worst tires, so I like their chances there. But, uh, yeah, that that caution was uh, untimely for for some. Uh, it was good for us. It it kept our track position up up front, but um, definitely, Reddick finishing thirtieth is not an indication of what they had. It would have been interesting to see if they had the speed. I mean, they were faster than us all weekend. Um, whether they had Quick. the speed to to contend with the 19 and, and one, I think they did. Uh, but yeah, it was, um, it was an uneventful race from a crash perspective. It really wasn't yeah. much going on except for the Blaney incident. Um, I don't know if you saw that one. I did. So I, I mean that started up front. I hit, so I was pushing Brad and like, you know, I had Ross behind me. He laid back quite a bit. So I laid, so I kind of like saw yeah. that. So I'm like, okay, so I had a huge run. And I'm pushing Brad at the start finish. And I think just when I moved out to pass, I'm pushing him. And I, it looked like he just like, I don't know if it bounced off the chip real hard. And he just, I watched the end car. I didn't, it sounded like it just didn't go in gear. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I'd also said that, did you, did you run into the back of him? Before I did. That? Yeah. I he hit, said he I lost the, him. he, it, but the, the impact he felt was so much that he lost. Yeah. The, but I, I watched yeah. the Came video. Yeah. Like yeah. I watched his end car. And, you know, NASCAR posted, you know, with these in cars that they got now, they, they put it up on, on the site pretty quick, is that I watched him and he was accelerating. And usually you can see or hear you get run into, like the RPMs will go up or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it just seemed like he went and it didn't go in gear. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I mean, I didn't see a huge bump, but I saw, I mean, we were all, I, I listen, I'm, I'm waiting on someone to plow into the back of me on a restart if i'm on the front row so um it's yeah it, it, you're I think not it was that timing of like maybe his shift came up earlier because i was hitting him yeah I I, it could be yeah. could be for sure yeah you're but, you're not really trying to get jumps on restarts anymore it, yeah. it's like you know you just want to get linked up yeah, yeah. For, with whoever's behind you but yeah. that caused some chaos i guess yeah. in, in the back of the field and uh blaney got the worst end of it but um, that looked like a big hit. He, yeah. Oh. I was looking at the speed, and I'm like, "Oh, well, he's slowing down a lot." But then it looked like he started well, like to speed he tried up to save it once he hit the concrete. I wonder if he tried to let off the brake to so then he could steer, catch it. it but yeah. because it looked like he was sliding and he was getting slower, 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 and then he hit concrete or asphalt, and then he sped up again. Now, not like hitting the gas, but it looked like he just maybe got off the brake to try to let it correct because he knew he was going to hit the wall, mm-hmm. and it just increased the speed. But it was he obviously hit a part of the track that <laughs> did not have a safer yeah. barrier, and that stink. Trust me, as a guy that Sucks. broke my back uh, hitting a wall with no safer barrier, it, it stinks for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. wild to think about that years ago that was just the normal. Man, oh. I hit I hit the wall so that California next gen crash that i had oh that's right was no safer Oof, it was big. yeah and that was before a lot of changes to the <laughs> car big. right yeah yeah i mean that was really the talking point for us when we, we were talking about the, next gen yeah. was like yeah. williams hit and the yeah. test right yeah he, <laughs> show my he's head. telling me he's telling us it hurt <laughs> so how can we fix this right so believe uh, me <laughs> many many slots in the chassis later we're we're, we're getting there for sure but uh, I know Blaney said uh, he'd pay for it if he needed to, but hopefully we don't need that. Uh, Jerry from NASCAR, he you know he goes and checks all these racetracks out before on uh, uh, and and make sure they're all safe. But sometimes something gets slipped through the cracks, you know, and they'll, I'm sure they'll have this thing fixed for next time. Sucks for Blaney, sucks for yeah. his team, uh, for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that was an unfortunate hit for sure. 
Hey, yeah. we talked about pit road a little bit on this episode. How many uh, free dinners have you bought your crew? <laughs> Lots. <laughs> <laughs> we got some bonuses going, but uh, no, they've been they've been awesome. I mean, they have been uh, they've been on it. I mean, I would say middle last year we we had uh, we had Jeff come over. Um, he was actually at JGR, and then he came over from oh. from there. And um, but uh, he was. I'm not in part charge yeah. of that. Uh, hiring yeah he he um he was in the he was on the seven for a while maybe for a year and then uh came over to us and but we just had a really good group Oren on the on the rear has been really fast um with the next gen and um yeah every guy i mean spencer uh Patton, uh you know those guys are landing fuel he's he's good plug so yeah they're all they're all good they got a good like swagger about i like there. that he says he's a good plug yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome Clean uh, plug so ross wins the race this is really the first we've seen ross in a while uh, yeah right yeah. ever since as i said i feel like ever since darlington when mr h getting the old you better stop wrecking my cars I, you know first <laughs> thing i thought was like oh mr hendrick doesn't turn the, the button off on the old information share at the old technical center on him but they came back strong uh, this is a, it was one of a dominant weekend really for the one car, you know, winning the race, winning the pole, um, being fast in practice. And so, um, I, you know, I, I think this whole narrative of, you know, them backing him down, I, I think that just, it was circumstances where his cars weren't fast yeah. really over the last you know month or so. Um, I think he's still very aggressive and, and will race the way that Ross races, which is, which is good. And it's successful for him. Um, I, I sent him a, a note because, uh, he, he, he gave me, uh, he came into my victory lane at, uh, we're at Kansas, Kansas. Yeah. and, uh, I sent him a message. I said, you know, Hey, I would have came see you in your victory lane, but I'm, I'm trying to get the hell out of Nashville and the, the, <laughs> the, the, the airport route, they shut off, you know, after an hour. So I'm like, uh, you know, congrats, but, yeah. um, yeah. cause you know, Bob, Bob Pockers puts me on the spot <laughs> and he's like, so yep. he congratulated you on victory lane. Are you going to go congratulate him? Yeah. And I'm like, Bob, I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> like, Traffic's I'm trying. I'm, traffic Bob, is Bob, they're bad. holding the tunnel in 15 minutes, Bob. They need you to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I did send him a nice text. He he, he did good. And yeah, uh, yeah I mean, that team, yeah, it, 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 they were fast this weekend. They had some ups and downs. Like, even on tracks that were similar to this, they didn't show this kind of speed. So they must have hit something, some sort of setup that was good. Uh, yeah. for them but um we'll see where this where, th where this leads 